the tongue. And the tongue is a very small and very, very dangerous instrument. You want to hear a recipe for disaster? Okay, here it is. This is a recipe for disaster. Number one, the tongue is an instrument or a muscle that never tires, true or false. You can get tired of speaking, but your tongue as a muscle doesn't get tired. Anyone know? Anyone ever remember a time when your tongue got tired? Impossible. You know, the strongest and largest muscles in your body will get tired. The strongest muscle in your lower body, your thighs, get tired. In your upper body, the lats, strongest muscle, largest, they get tired. But the tongue never ever gets tired. Your jaws get tired, right? Sometimes your throat, you're at the buffet, you're eating too fast, swallow, swallow, swallow. Your throat hurts. Your cheeks from smiling, from laughing too long. But your tongue, incredible. That's the first recipe, okay? This first part of the recipe, number one, it's a small instrument that never ever gets tired. Number two, few people can control it. See how this is getting worse and worse? It never gets tired. Few people control it. And number three, it is one of the main causes of people going into the hellfire with Ayyadu Billah. Is this not a recipe for disaster? Absolutely. It doesn't get tired. Few people know how to control it. And it's one of the main things that lead people into paradise. How do we know that? We know it from the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. He asked the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam, which of the things most lead to paradise? And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, at taqwa wa husn al So being God conscious or having the fear of Allah and having good manners. Then Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu asked the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam, which of the things most lead people into the hellfire, most conducive to the hellfire? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, al famu wal farj the mouth and the sexual organs. So we have the tongue being one of the top two things that most lead people into the hellfire with Ayyadu Billah. In another hadith, Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu, he asked the Prophet sallallahu are we going to be held accountable for what comes out of our mouth? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi answered him with a question. It's a rhetorical question. وَهَلْ يَكُبُّ النَّاسَ عَلَى مَنَاخِيرِهِمْ فِي النَّارِ إِلَّا حَصَائِدُ أَلْسِنَتِهِمْ is there anything else that will cause people to topple, basically to fall on their faces into the hellfire or, or head first into the hellfire except for their, their results or what they reap with their tongue? So it's one of the things that will cause people, most cause people to fall into the hellfire head first with Iyadu Billah. In the hadith of Al-Muflis, the bankrupt person, when the Prophet ﷺ asked the companions, أَتَدْرُونَ مَنِ الْمُفْلِسِ Do you know who is the one who is bankrupt? And they said, Ya Rasulullah, al muflis fina, man la dirham lahu wa la mata'. The one who is bankrupt amongst us is the one that has no money, no dirhams, no currency, and no possessions. Then the Prophet ﷺ explained to them, is the, the muflis, the one who is bankrupt, he is the one who comes forth on the day of judgment with a lot of good deeds. But he has also come forth with a lot of bad manners and bad dealings with his fellow human beings. And amongst the things the Prophet ﷺ says, وَقَدْ شَتَمَ هَذَا أَوْ وَشَتَمَ هَذَا And he had insulted that person. So even though he had a mountain of good deeds, he will lose that mountain of good deeds because again, one of the things related to the tongue.